Man, there's a lot of weird people out today. <laughs> so how is everyone doing? It's already been a crazy start. I had a guy that didn't turn his right blinker on as I was leaving my neighborhood and like, so I waited for him because I didn't know what he was doing. Then he, his window's down so he waves to me but then stares at me. It's like, what, what? And then, <laughs> and then I had a, a Lincoln sedan that didn't know which lane they wanted to be in and saw a cool Lamborghini. And then pulled up to a, I think it was the Indian motorcycle there. Was that what that is? was, uh, everyone? I don't know. I don't know my cruisers. And she looked back at me and gave a thumbs up. And then as I was doing that, I noticed on my peripheral a white SUV. I don't know what it was. Guy has wheels down and was giving a weird look over at us. And, uh, yeah. It's just so many people are out. I already been out once, and we went out to uh, look at a cat. We're gonna, going to uh, if you want to call it rescue, buying. We're buying this uh, mother cat and kitten cat, keeping them together. As we were out earlier, I was like, so much traffic. We went by this one trailhead, Fox Run Park, that's in Monument, and they were the parking lot was packed, completely packed. Now, I mean, you can still do a lot of social distancing in a park pack parking lot that doesn't really matter but it's just amazing how many people are out in and about so figured well I'm gonna go do some social distancing on my motorcycle I am going to uh, just go around I want to see how things are myself I don't really plan to stop anywhere wonder well you might have to stop for gas mark no I filled up in my garage I have lots of gas There's a lot of motorcycles out today, mostly cruisers. I don't know, so what do you all think about this whole coronavirus and going out and about? So many people are like, don't go out no matter what, even if you're alone in your vehicle. They're, they're like going nuts. There's people literally going nuts. And my wife just told me she knows uh, somebody that works at a Safeway and people are going nuts. Like, they'll come in and say, hey, I didn't get the item that was rang up. Like, you know, it got missed being bagged. Most likely, probably a scam. But right now, corporate policy for Safeway is we are not taking anything back because it might be contaminated. So, they'll replace the item. And I guess this lady was just having a fit about, about it. She was like, I'm not gonna go walk around. I might catch the virus. And it's like, you're already in the store arguing. <laughs> so then they were like, well, we'll go get the items for you. And she was like, well, no, I don't want you touching my, my stuff. How do I know you're not infected? Well, you came in the store so you must not have too much worry about it. People are just retarded. That's when it's probably most likely a scam. If somebody's arguing that much, it's probably a scam. <laughs> ridiculous. People are just ridiculous. These times bring out the good in people. Like, you know, you got the founder of my pillow, gonna make masks and all that. You got other uh, companies that distill various like whiskeys and stuff they're making uh, hand sanitizer and and uh, alcohol I don't I don't I don't know what you can buy all from them but yeah you know they're stepping up to the uh, to the plate and changing their business model to a help everyone and keep their doors open some of them are donating a lot of that stuff yeah, but then again, you got people that will go on. Oh, the my pillow guy—he like gave 
he gave like a religious ending to his speech. Like, well, if you're not religious, who cares? I'm not religious. It didn't bother me any. Why do you care so much? The guy's religious. That's, that's his right. If he wants to give a little ending to his little podium thing, so be it. That's his speech. <laughs> The good thing is he's stepping up to the plate and they're gonna make they're making mask. I went on to actually support him. I never realized I thought my pill of being a TV product was gonna be cheap. Two hundred dollars for king sheets. That's right. Two hundred dollars for some king sheets. I was like, okay, I support what you're doing, but I'm not paying 200 bucks for sheets especially at this time in this uh, climate economy no that's that's nutty so I obviously didn't maybe down the road I mean it's not like I've we've never paid 200 bucks for sheets before but I thought his stuff being TV products like I looked at the pillows pillows are like 80 bucks each you know what you're supposed to do with pillows? You're only supposed to keep pillows for like a couple of years. And then, you know what you do with them? You throw them away. Because they're a hygienic item. I mean, I used to buy the fancy pillows. Like, I've had a sleep number pillow that was like $200. I don't do that anymore. I just go to Costco. I buy their like $20 or $30 get two pillows. And I use them. They get grody, I throw them away. Now I'm by new. That's what I do with my pillows. That's what you're supposed to do with your pillows. So anyways, the idea of, behind this ride is, let's go check out Garden of the Gods. I always claim it's busy now. I don't even know if technically it's open still. I think it is. Uh, so we're gonna go check that out. We're going to also go to like the trailhead over on Gold Camp, Lower Gold Camp for the Collapse Tunnel and we're gonna see what's going on there, you know? And basically just go around and see what's going on in places, you know? Guy, are you gonna break? The thing is, I do notice people are actually going fat, driving faster now. It's like they don't give a shit. Burger King even open? They look like totally closed. They don't even look open. Yeah, can't buy a mattress. Who, who hot the uh, all you can eat place? So uh, they're closed. Culver's drive throughs open. Lazy dog, don't know. Some of them, it's hard to tell. They had a sign, so I think it said takeout. Do, do, do. Natural Grocers is open and actually quite busy. Uh, Verizon looks closed. Noodles and company. All the restaurants have to be takeout only, so it's up to them whether they stay open or not. Payway, they look totally closed, although they can do takeout. It's kind of a takeout type place anyways with a type of food. I think some of them are going to find that, you know, our food is good when you can sit there, but if you gotta get a takeout, I mean, I can go to any old Chinese restaurant. Why would I go to one that costs a lot of money to eat at? That's really not really Chinese. <laughs> I think we're doing, uh, we're supporting our local Chinese slash Japanese place. Yeah, I don't think usually I could do that. So it's, it is weird. Some of these streets, but some of them go to these stores that just are not going to be open. Or people are just not thinking about going to. 
everywhere. I'm on a bike. Oh, look at that trailhead. Oh my God. Just like packed. I guess these are, that's what people are talking about in town. See, I don't live in Colorado Springs. So I don't always know on the news sites when people are like, oh man, every trailhead is packed. Typically not up in monuments. <laughs> now, oh, look at that trailhead. That trailhead is packed. I didn't even know it was a trailhead until I saw the group of cars. Guess it's a trailhead. We have so many. <laughs> Look, the crosswalk's right here. <laughs> Look, she could have easily went to the crosswalk. It was another five feet down the hill. Talking about lazy, being a lazy bone. Uh, I probably brought this up before in a video, but we used to live up here. When we first moved out here, my wife's company put us up out here. They, they paid for the accommodations for three months. Apartment complex coming up. Actually, I kind of liked up in this area, but housing is a little on the pricey side. I don't know how schools are or anything, but as far as a place to live, it seemed like a good compromise. Like, you're not right in town, but you're still close to town for a lot of stuff. I, li I like city and I like rural, so I can go either way. Both have it, have its pluses and minuses. So we used to live in this place called Oasis, right there. It, it was a good uh, corporate apartment. We were in like a corporate, so it was furnished and stuff. And we had a garage, and the garage had like a storeroom to it. it. It was okay. I mean, it was only a one bedroom. And it was kind of small being that, you know, we had a, a dog and two cats. But it was a nice place. And now where they kind of rip you off is if you're a normal person paying rent and the company's not paying it, there's extra bills that they don't tell you about. Well, it's probably in the lease somewhere. But, you know, people don't always read all that and they make you pay for the watering of the grounds like separate like you get a separate bill like your share of watering is not cheap it's not like it's 20 bucks over every apartment there it's like 100 200 300 dollars it's crazy so read the reviews of apartments definitely and definitely read the reviews of the oasis it's a nice place otherwise the only other issue we had there was parking is tight like, luckily, you know, we parked, I was able to get the motorcycles in the storeroom area and then park, flip up my Kinden trailer, put that in there, put one car in, and put a car, typically my wife, because she worked every day, in the little driveway. But, like, if you wanted to put your vehicle in a spot across, good luck. Good luck. So yeah, parking, it wasn't designed with much parking in mind. Now we never used the pool or anything like that. We could have. I don't know. We're, I'm not really a pool person per se. <laughs> this is crazy. There's a lot of traffic down here. So that's what some people online fail to understand that if I can drive to the trailhead, it means I can take a little cruise and drive around because who knows what trailhead I'm going to. Now, the people up in mountains will be like, don't come up to the mountains. I kind of agree with that. I mean, you should probably be sticking more local. Like, I, this is local to me, right? But I don't know. What's the definition of local? I don't consider going to Woodland Park to be, I don't consider being a tourist. My brother-in-law lived up there for so long. We used to go every other weekend. We were pretty much, that was our second home. You know, going up there. So, I guess, I guess the definition is kind of loose. Well, I'm going to say that is it for this riding vlog. So, please like, subscribe, check out my other videos. And I'll definitely have more coming up of the trails and what have you. Hit that notification bell and also visit my Amazon affiliate link. It really helps out the channel. And you just do your normal shopping. And it's a win-win for both of us. So, check out that Amazon affiliate link and you have nothing to lose. And you're supporting my channel. So, thank you. I appreciate it. You guys uh, stay safe and stay well, my friends. Have a good one. Bye.